what's up everyone my name is William and today we're going to be going over note velocity in Logic Pro so first of all I've just opened up a new session here I've loaded up an instrument track with an EXS 24 uh, and I've I've loaded up the go to preset Steinway Grand Piano 2 uh, you just go down to factory acoustic pianos and Steinway Grand Piano 2 uh, if you want to use the same preset as I did Next thing I did, I recorded some MIDI and I, uh, I adjusted the velocities to go from a much lower velocity to a much harder velocity. So first of all, before we even play this, we can tell there's different colors for the notes. Um, the colors represent, you know, it's just a quick look at the value of the velocity as well as the white line inside of the note. As you can see on the notes, they have different uh, lengths uh, depending on the velocity so you know you get you get lighter blues and purples and things like that at lower velocities uh, and then it goes into some like teals greens uh, yellows oranges and then last it goes all the way to red so uh, that's just how the the you know quick look at velocity uh, looks like uh, just you know it's it's just you know for your reference the coloring uh, and of course this is you know just how logic works um, it's nice to be able to see it though, rather than you know having to actually click on a note to hear it. Uh, you know the different colors and the lines make it super simple to see. Um, so let's just play this and see what it sounds like. Okay, so as you could hear, it goes from a much softer velocity to a much harder velocity. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, when referring to velocity, working, you know, in any any kind of DAW in any, uh, you know, in any kind of music, velocity and volume are not the same thing. They're two distinct entities. Uh, you know, velocity is relative to how hard the note is hitting, and volume is how loud the note is. While, while velocity and volume do have a relationship, uh, you know, they, they still are two different things. So first of all, uh, to, to simply adjust MIDI, uh, if you don't have this, this note velocity controller up, you can click on this view button up here and you can go on down to, uh, to MIDI draw. And when, when you're in the MIDI draw menu, if you go on down, you can see a note velocity uh, checkbox. Mine's already checked. You can just click on it to open it up, and it should open up this area. This is one way to edit MIDI, and it's super helpful because it gives you a quick glimpse at where it's at on the scale of 1 being the very bottom and 127 being the very top. So we can get a quick you know, view at what the velocities are at. So you know, the first notes are about at 30, and then you know, it looks like around 40, uh, 50, 60, uh, 70. This one jumps up to 80 to 85. Uh, this one's 110 or so, and then this one is about 125, 127, uh, something like that. <clears throat> so that's just a quick way to also look at it. Um, you can also, uh, you know, again, obviously we can just look at the notes to get a quick glimpse. But one way to adjust the velocity is to highlight said note. And then this velocity slider, it tells you it'll go to exactly the velocity that the note is at. And you can just simply slide this and adjust it. And as you can see in our uh, note velocity view down there, you can see the, the note adjusting as I'm moving the slider. And, uh, and again, velocity values range from 1 to 127. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, so we can, you know, do that. Or there's another way to, to uh, edit this velocity. You know, instead of highlighting uh, a note and then changing it, we can also uh, use this view to draw in, since this is the note velocity uh, draw uh, view, <clears throat> excuse me, we can just click and drag, and you see I'm drawing this line here. And if I let go of this line, it'll give us a nice increase of velocity right on this line. So now all of these are are evenly balanced. You know, it's a it's an even increment between each one. Uh, so that's something cool that you can use, and you can you know. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can just do the first two, and then 
uh, the second to you went down, uh, things like this. This is just a, a fast way that you can, you know, it's just drawing lines that the note values will follow. So that's something to keep in mind. So another really cool thing that we can do when editing velocity is if we had multiple notes that we wanted at the same velocity, we could simply, here, I'm just going to select all of the notes, Command A, uh, just to make it, you know, easier to see. And if you hold Shift and Option while dragging this velocity slider over here, it actually makes all of the notes the same velocity. So as you can see, we can, you know, get them all at a balanced 70, uh, 74 velocity. So now, you know, instead of what it sounded like before when it was ascending in velocity, it now sounds like this. Cool. So, you know, you could hear that the notes were were all relatively, you know, the same uh, sounding in, when it comes to velocity just because, you know, they are the same velocity. So, I mean, yeah, that, those are, are the two, you know, main ways that you can draw in uh, velocity or edit velocity. Uh, just simply highlighting your notes and, you know, dragging the velocity slider or using this, this very uh, cool velocity draw area to draw in different velocities. So that's something cool. Um, but that's about it for the velocity uh, lesson. Um, stay tuned for the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.